All right, good news. I think I've got all the bits and pieces here together to make the radiator hook up. So we have got a one and three quarters to one and a half inch adapter. That's this little aluminum hickamajig. We have got a one and a half to one and a quarter adapter, which is this other little aluminum hickamajig here. It goes into this piece of one and a quarter hose. It goes onto the bottom uh, spigot of the radiator. Now this here goes into the stock factory inch and three-quarter hose that comes off the bottom of the water pump. Catch her up right there. This is going to be a lot of joints in this thing, but I guess it's going to what we're going to have to do. And then of course I get this hooked up. This is inch and a half here. It's a flex hose with an elbow on it to inch and a quarter with this aluminum inch and a half to inch and a quarter adapter. And that's how she rolls. But the problem I find is that this is higher than the top of the radiator. Therefore, we're going to have to find out a way to put a radiator cap here. So what I'm thinking <coughs> is I'm going to go and order a real short inch and a half piece of hose. And one of them radiator cap inch and a half inline hose doohickeys. So it's got the, the inline hose, or the, the hose barb on the bottom of it. You stick it into the hose that sticks out of here. And then it got one that sticks out that side. And it's got a radiator cap on top. So we'll just leave the cap on the radiator that's already there. We'll put a brand new one on because the old one's a piece of crap anyway. And then uh, we'll have a second radiator cap up here. And if somebody takes this one off, they're a moron. So don't let morons under the hood of this automobile. But that's about it. So that's the next step, and uh, i got a couple more corners to bolt down to the body. Once we do that, we'll be driving her around, at least around the yard. i still got to do the exhaust yet, and uh, I've got to build a header for the at least the driver's side. I'll probably do the passenger side, too, because I don't like having things out of balance. Uh, I need a header that goes either out farther or in closer. Probably out farther, because I want nice gentle bends in it. Nice gentle curves, but uh, it needs to go out farther so that it misses the steering shaft. And I figure what I'll do is I'll make some great big long tube headers go way under the car because it's little and it's a V6. <coughs> so then uh, my great big long tube headers will just go into one uh, way under the car. I've had like, I don't know, 60 inch headers or something. I was watching Engine Masters and they showed you how much more torque longer headers make, so I'm going to try to get that giant torque peak down low for off-roading and junk. And trailer pulling and whatever else. Yeah, some good news. Among a bunch of bad news, which doesn't relate to this project, um, this here doesn't leak. And I've run it for a few minutes now and it doesn't... The uh, It's, it's kind of slopped all over the place. My uh, fancy oil filter doesn't leak. That's good. I like things that don't leak when you're not supposed to. I got to put a new, a longer uh, negative battery cable on here, but I've got it. It's in the, it's sitting up top of the car, sitting on the pile of junk up here, getting ready to get installed. There should be. So that's about it. Put the radiator in here, everything else hooked up. Probably hook a rudimentary electrical system up so we may or may not have some tail lights and whatnot. But we will eventually once I put it on the road. I gotta get that uh, I gotta get a 97 and up Dodge um, air cleaner boot thing. Uh, I forget what you call it, but it's gotta go on the, the throttle body to adapt the air cleaner to it. I'm getting a square air cleaner because it'll they're well, rectangular, the newer ones, because it'll stick right in there. Hopefully not be in the way too bad. We'll find out. But as we'll move stuff. Well, that's enough of that. See you later.